Hello, welcome back to Hungry Own Game. It is time to drive Pacifically once again. Uh, if you noticed in the last episode of Pacific Drive, the transmission was cut short. Oh goodness, a little bit early. And as you can see on the right of the screen, things got a little weird. We did abandon our trip. We went on an additional journey. It was not successful. And the video was cut short. But honestly, basically at the point that we were before not so bad so we went through a lot oh wait i can deposit stuff that's cool how fun all right so anyway to recap uh we may have died last episode things got a little spicy and then Uh, tried to do another run, ran out of time, ended up abandoning, and here we are. But that's okay. Today is a new day. The dumpster is back. <laughs> yes. Oh, I do need a door. The dumpster knows. Ooh, a first aid kit. Nice. I like how the dumpster giveth and taketh away. Right, let's put this door on. First things first. Need a door. Perfect. Got this. Got this. I assume we need a new panel somewhere. No? Really? Oh, never mind. It knows. The dumpster knows. Any more? Yes. Don't hold out on me, dumpster. We're friends, okay? You can trust me. <laughs> uh, what's not installed? Bumper. Can I make a bumper? It would be nice to have all my car parts for once. I haven't had all my car parts, I think, ever <laughs> since starting the game. Unfortunately, we're missing a lot. What's in my inventory? There's a little bit of stuff. What's in my box? Nothing. What's in my transfer trunk? Everything. Free nothing. Where do my materials go? That seems somewhat concerning. If I'm being transparent with you all. Oh, you can't stack those? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty low on materials, so we're going to have to do a lot of material finding on the way out. Uh, do we have a ceiling kit still? No. That's not ideal. Oh. <laughs> We're missing a wheel. That doesn't seem good. How do I make a new wheel? I'm going to have to make a new wheel, right? Can't currently make a new wheel. If I can't make a new wheel, I feel like driving is going to be real tricky. Like, maybe that's a silly way to think, but that's what it feels like. What am I supposed to do? Can I take this car's wheel? This car has a bunch of stuff in it. I wonder if this car always has stuff in it. I don't think so. This is a wheel right here. Let's take it. Oh, that's not doing anything. Need rubber, right? I mean, I'll. I don't think you can take the tire straight off the thing. At least not right now. Maybe you can later. Which is a little weird because, like, it's an obviously working tire. So, like, why can't you? But, whatever. Alright. 
I'm not reading all that. Don't have time. <laughs> so am I... Excuse me. Am I really going to drive around with a wheel missing? That doesn't seem good. But I can't build another one. Missing plastic. Where can I get plastic from? This doesn't help me, right? No. I was looking to make a flashlight, but I need to make a bulb for that stuff. Right now, bulb research needs fabric, which I don't have. There is stuff in here. A little bit of rubber. Oh, there's actually a bunch of stuff in here. It's kind of nice. What's this? Swift collection of any solid or semi-solid substance. Does that mean I can, like, hoover up the parts? That sounds great. And more repair putty, but we're actually doing pretty well on putty. What is this? Oh, a bumper! <laughs> okay, has that just been in there the whole time? I don't remember where that came from. Nice. What's up with the hand vac? Tires in good condition. I mean, I'm aware that one of the tires isn't in good condition. You don't have to, like, remind me. It's kind of rude. It's always something, huh? Plastic. I just don't have any plastic. I think I'm just going to start driving. And... I think everything in the transfer box does come with me, by the way. So I don't think I have to put it in the car. I'm going to trust that it works that way. Because if it doesn't, it's just going to be too hard. <laughs> I have a bunch of putty. Putty up the car. We have two headlights. But only three wheels. <laughs> I think... I think it's part of the fun that things go wrong a lot in the game. I'm at least choosing to treat it that way. Which, maybe that's some cope, but... I mean, what do you have if you don't have cope, you know? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll grab the other putty, though. Oh, it's more locker. What's in here? Oh, there's a tire! This game is like... This game's got a good sense of humor. Alright, we found a tire. Perfect. Amazing. Alright, we're actually in pretty good shape. Has this stuff always just been in here, by the way? Or have I just never bothered to check? I'm pretty confident I've just never bothered to check. That sounds about right. And there's more putty in here, which I should take. We want to be pretty putty, putty pilled. Okay. Seems good. Let's get driving. Wants us to go back to Sierra. I think we can try doing that today. Uh, we got to go this way first. Pretty sure. We have everything but a battery jumper. I don't think I can build one, but... I guess I'll check. Nope. We need batteries. I don't remember where we get batteries from. Also, hang on. Can we make a new impact hammer? I realized recently that we didn't have another one. No. We need a gas cylinder for that. Okay. Okay. You know what? It's fine. We're just missing some key components. It's not a big deal. It's just not a big deal. We have headlights. What else can we ask for? <laughs> All right, back to Sierra and we go. I'm gonna do a decent amount of stopping. Cause uh, we do need, do need stuff. I imagine the gameplay loop is, wants you to collect a lot of stuff, generally. 
Also, I know I said that, like, the tire thing... The tire thing felt like... The tire thing felt like... It was weird that you couldn't, like, just take the tire off the car, but... I can see a world where, like, you can do that later. Leaving the car on... Waste fuel. So I don't want to do that, I'm pretty sure. I did consider it, though. Refrigerator? Incredible. Why is one of the cans sideways? I'll never know. I think that's everything. Oh no. Well, there's a TV. Open up. Danger. What's the danger? Hmm. Somewhat concerning. Guess the storm. But that's always the danger. Like, is that really a new danger? No. Trying to avoid the mannequins. That was actually surprisingly successful. Road flares are good. Because we sometimes need them. Wake up sheeple. Road flares are good because we uh, sometimes need to make new headlights, as we've discovered many times. <laughs> I'm gonna like, I'm not gonna explore off the road at all, but I am gonna, I'm gonna stop like pretty frequently because I am aware that there's stuff I need to grab. Maybe I didn't need to turn the car off for this one. Ooh, that's nice. Very good find. Need that for our research. Close it up. Close it up. Close it. I wonder if they ever make it smoother for you to get in and out of your car. That'd be kind of nice. Also, there's two bits of energy so close together that I think I am going to try and get them both. One of those abductors again. I think we're far enough away that it's not going to matter. Hang on, I can check the map from the other side, right? Man, this game is pretty tough sometimes. Yeah. One there. I don't know why they have sideways food and other way food. Kind of strange. Ooh. Nothing else? Oh. Nope. There's a fridge. Never fear. Man. I definitely didn't do very much exploring originally. And I'm starting to see how that was an error. Exploring is based. Which again. Makes sense because it's a crafting game. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't know it was a crafting game at the time. Wait, I can put those? How can I? That's so strange. The flares were sideways and now they're the right way up. I'll try not to ask too many questions. I can also put this food in here. Let's go get the energy. Maybe I should mark. Hang on. Let me mark the other one. Because I can see the first one. And I do want to get both. So let me mark this one. 
I think that will make it a little easier. Let's walk over here first. Am I supposed to shoot that with the flare gun, by the way? Maybe I scrap it? Come at me, bro. Actually, don't. <laughs> it was very unpleasant. The last time. Ah! Also, I was going to say, I'm about to pick up the thing that, like, causes massive instability. Ah! Oh, no full damage. Nice. Can I open the door this way to... Excuse me? That was rude. Let's go this way first. Nice. The dumpster is popping. I could just have my pry bar out like it's going to do anything. I can't make the flashlight yet, can I? I will be honest with you all. I am really into the vibe of this game. But if it ever tries to jump scare me, we're done. <laughs> the game and I are done. Uh, wait, now it's the right way up? I don't understand. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but... Oh, can I get that? No. Oh, it's a door. Nice. Managed to just fit everything in somehow. I do need to go back to my car, though. Because I got to put these cartridges back. I could also raid this dumpster, too. I think once I get both these little sources and dump all this stuff back. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to go through the gas station, rifle through that, and then go get the little energy thing. And then I think we're done in this area fully because it's all of the little energy bits. I think it's realistically all of the stuff I'm going to salvage. No, I think we can move on. That's what I think. One of these again. Wait, hang on. Let's see if this works. Holy. Plasma is good. What is this? Wait, actually, what is that? Okay, once again, I'm not reading all that. Oh, that does work, though. Wait, that's great. So I gotta put that back in my car, too. It seems a little psycho. Oh, ceiling kit's good. Anything else in here? Nope. Inventory full? I mean... Surely I can pick up the ceiling kit, right? Wait, where'd my... Yes. But not this. Right? Unless I do a little Tetris? No. No Tetris will save us here. Alright, we'll pick up the hopped up hair, I suppose. I don't know what it does, but... It's one of those, like... I feel like the, the, the adage of this game is, if it fits, you just take it. <laughs> no questions. I did like the hand vec, actually. That was kind of helpful. Yeah, I think I need everything else. I guess I don't need this first aid kit right now. I have enough food. It's kind of get me through. Yeah, seems fine. Alright, let's go pick up the thing. And then I guess we're out of here. On to Sierra again. Wait, where'd it go? Oh. Jesus, that mildly jump scared me. What does this do? Can't go in my backpack. Hopefully, it can go in my box. If 
feel like they just warped back in. I will say, with how expansive the world is, I have to imagine keeping some stuff like... Oh, it's huge. Hands only. What the hell does it do? Can I, can I scrap it? I don't know what to do with it. Alright, well, let's stay in there then. If I don't know what to do with it, it's just staying in. Not my problem. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. They're onto us. Get them back to SeaWorld. Alright, so now we gotta go. We have enough to leave, which is good. That was kind of my intention. Making sure we had enough stuff to get out. Oh goodness, the world is melting. Now we just want to drive home. Well, sorry, now we want to drive to the next spot. Do whatever we have to do. And in theory, we should be able to get out nice and cleanly. Right? Right? Ow. Surprising no one, I much prefer this game in the day. <laughs> Then at night. Feels much more pleasant. But I don't think that's too surprising. Alright, so initial crafting session feels like it went well. Not gonna drive into the blue stuff. I really wonder what the hopped up hair thing was for. I'm not going to stop there. There's going to be plenty of other opportunities to stop. Don't want it to get too behind. Okay, I know my car sucks, but it feels like it's handling extra terribly today, and I can't explain why. <laughs> also, I think like, I need a new windshield. Back off to Sierum. Sierum seems more stable than last time. I think when we were last going to look at it, it, had like a bunch of unstable question marks. Now it's got the chill like pigeon. What is the camera assist mode? Oh, we can still leave. All right? There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another What's wall, the and the entire zone? mid zone for starters. What? It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R and D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built hmm. lift stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Mod to have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Observation towers. Trying to see what that looks like. Out oh, there. Got it. Yeah, I didn't think I need the energy, right? It says I need 0 0.7, I have 1.3. Yeah, I'm gonna go left. Sorry. I'm gonna go left. These roads suck. <laughs> I mean, these aren't real roads. Sorry to. Sorry to insult them, but these aren't real roads. This is just dirt. I am like four wheel driving it right now. I was about to drive through it, but I was going to comment that I've been driving so much safer. Ever since I lost my headlights, my world has never been the same. Oh, I don't need headlights right now. I 
I guess the road is like squiggly on my map, which I'm pretty sure means it sucks and isn't a real road. I wonder if you ever go like full racetrack in this game. I guess there is a little track you can look through. Oh, nothing here. Whatever. Don't think I need, oh, wait, maybe I do need the wipers actually. I feel like when I started playing this game, I was very reckless. And I feel much more careful now. And I don't know if that's good or not, but if that was an intention, goodness gracious, if that was an intention of the design. The was locked up tight, but you can tighten very up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee done. to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the gods rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those gods one bit. Okay. That's mildly terrifying. Uh, what's the code? <laughs> okay. What do we got? I like that I'm like, I have a job to do. And I'm like, yes, my job is to loot the place. <laughs> huh. Any other looting we can do? Locate stabilizer record. We did it. Near you. There you go. Oh, we can make it into different stuff. That's job. cool. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. I don't think I want to use the transmitter yet, but that's a cool thing that exists. All right, where am I going? Hang on a second. Not here. Where am I going? Oh, there. It's kind of a pain, but that's all right. What isn't kind of a pain in this game? You know? I guess I should, like, look at the technology trees and stuff. I know I'm dedicated to building a flashlight right now because uh, I want better headlights. <laughs> but there's a lot of different upgrades and things you can craft. Maybe I should be looking at crafting a better map. That would also be nice. And I imagine that's one of the things you can craft. I think one of the, tr the successes of this game design-wise is the fact that is the fact that there's a ton of Hang on, sorry, I'm navigating these trees. Uh, I think there's the game basically starts you from zero, but which definitely captures the vibe and the like feeling of the game really well. But you know, as you craft and improve things, you kind of get like your basic necessities back, and then eventually they get you know better. <laughs> and I know that's a staple of a lot of like survival esque crafting games, but. I think this game executes on its tone particularly well. And I think it deserves props for that. Yeah, I'm definitely not an off-road Andy. I'm sure that will change. This map, man. This map, it's just... 
I guess this is the way, right? This like kind of looks right. Oh boy. Whatever. Whatever. Oh no, there's a rock there. I mean, look, this is fine. This is a totally normal drive that everyone does, right? I mean, this is like basically a road. Look, found a road. Yeah, nailed it. See? Perfect every time. Did I injure my headlights? Still got some. Can't pop the plasma right now, which is unfortunate. I think I definitely would if I had access. I want to stop in here. I think I can stop briefly in here. Yeah, sure, why not? I like that you just stop stuff. Ow! Did I just close the door on myself and deal damage? I think I just did. Hilarious. If suboptimal. What the? Oh, that's fun. I didn't know I could do that. Ooh, black paint. Sure. I don't know what the danger is. I think the pry bar has been able to open stuff, like, for a while, by the way. And I think I just, like, haven't realized. Because I'm bad at taking context clues. Danger. I don't like the danger part. I'm going to grab the cylinder and get out. Don't want to overexert myself exploring. We know what happened last time. <laughs> like trying to dodge my own door. Why is there a... What's that? Why is there a growth on my car? That doesn't seem good. Putty up some of the car real quick. How are we doing? Yeah, just give it a little fixy fixy. How my tie is doing? You're doing fine. Alright, we're good. Out we go. Keep driving, up and to the right. It's a very nice bright day today. I like that. I feel like the game listened to me. I told it that I didn't like the nighttime thing. And it's like, hey, I got you. Also, if it was night every time, it would get very old. I'm gonna eat some food. I don't know why I'm so low on health. I find it somewhat concerning. Actually, I find it very concerning. But I don't need to like, go all the way. Oh my goodness, what is this? Uh, whatever. Just kind of go around. Oh, please work. No. Come on. Alright, okay. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Be cool. Be cool. I get it. I get it, okay? He didn't like that. It's okay. I understand. Just a little bit of off-roading for the fans. And then up here. Perfect. I feel like I'm habitually checking if my headlights work now. Too many painful memories of having no lights. What's the name of the car? 
Should we name the car? Does the car have a name? Oh, Betty. Betsy. Remy, because it's a remnant. All right. This was pretty chill. Also, I feel like somewhat successful. I feel like we got a lot of materials that we needed, which is good. I think we'll definitely save the crafting and repair session for the start of the next run. Because I think we'll be here all day <laughs> if we end up doing that. All right, what's going on here? We're just leaving? All right. Oh, wait. There's a highway. We're not done. Oh, we're not done. This is cool. Link, Once oh there my goodness. A bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Interesting. All right, so we got three little pipes, three little stabilizers to install. In a self-proclaimed maze. Beautiful. It's my turn to give you an explanation. Oh boy. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the Deep Zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. That doesn't sound good at all. That looks like a tower. Also, following the pipes, actually, genuinely good advice. Shocking that the game actually told me something useful. I mean, that's that's not fair to the game. The game's actually been very helpful. I'm just dumb. <laughs> oh man, this car ride's a little bumpy. Oh, speaking of bumpy. All right. Stabilizer one. What else you got? You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? I saw disembodied arms. Ugh. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. Can I get up and, this uh, way? What about you, Oppy? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But weren't you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? Okay. Wow. Touchy. I don't know if I can do what I'm about to try to do, but I'm going to do it. And I think this is a terrible idea. But I'm full of terrible ideas. All right, we're driving. I'm going to try and get to the next road this way. Oh, I'll, I'll wait. It's a valley. Oh, no. This seems fine. Yeah, everything's chill. 
This is great. Not the tree stump. All right, nice. Look at that. I mean, that was perfect, was it not? We gotta drive around the other way. That seemed great. I guess if I like could read topographical data, I would have known that that was not that bad. Ugh. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination. Stop! No, my car. What caused it? No. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. That was so weird. Don't start. Doctor K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using limb to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh yes, precisely. Oh goodness. Where did gamma rays come from? But out of space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, don't for drive example. Through that stuff. No, 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 no. You said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb assisted mass particle collision. Or, heck, tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis. To Atlantis? Of course. Now, why didn't I think <laughs> of that? That's absolutely it. I think she's being sarcastic. Why is that music? I think it's... I mean, the song was kind of bopping, but... You know, we've been a solitary... Solitary driver for a while now, and I think I'm going to keep it that way. Actually, you know what? I lied. Let's pop it back on. Oh, yeah. It's so bright out. So nice. What a pleasant game this is. Totally nothing eldritch and terrifying happening. Just nothing but chill. Ah. Nothing but chill, he says. Almost running off the road again! Well, that didn't seem good. I'm just trying to see. I guess there is a little road down there. So I'll follow the pipes. Because this other road doesn't go anywhere. Like the road we're on. Yeah, this is a road of sorts. I'm trying to find the other end of the road. Here we go. I think one of the things I found most challenging about this game, and I'm sure this isn't unique to me, is navigating and orienting yourself I found quite tricky so just doing a little bit of extra work to help myself later down the line all right also gonna chuck hey, Oppie, stuff in my you've car. never cared about any of the zone stories and superstitions excuse me so why now what's in this for you what I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two sign off and count orbs or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I'm I won't let fighting. interfere with this. Okay, lady. I think there's a lot of motives here you need to be disclosing to me. The hell with that! We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever! This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. All right, lady. It sure didn't seem too important earlier. 
Well, you messed up. No. Nearly killed the driver. Okay. You Those things definitely mess up your driving you controls. Really want to talk about our track records? They're annoying. Screw you, Oppy. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Bro. Forget it. Oh my god. I'm wasting our breath with this. Almost hit me. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Bye bye. Look. If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I were better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. What? Why is my car doing this? Should refuel at some point. The next tower, I guess. Should be a little road to the side here. Yep. Nice. A little tunnel. Always exciting. Everyone loves a good tunnel. Oh, what? No. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. See? This game's tricky. I think the trees are better to drive through than the electricity. It's been my general strategy so far. I assume the angry lady scientist character wants to like rescue her husband or something. But I don't know. Ooh, the pipes have arrows on them. Just in case I was really lost, you know. On the home stretch. In some ways, it's nice they put a bunch of stuff on the road, because then you know you're going the right way, you know? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll refuel it, though. Other place. So tense. Oh, whatever. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me drive. Stop it. All right, I'm gonna refuel when we get out. Just saying it out loud to remind myself. That's all we get. Oh, where'd my pry bug go? I guess I used it all. Bring up my gun. Oh no, I don't want to fire it. <laughs> I thought that might be uh, aimed down sights. All right, we're in business. The stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. Stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Oh Fast. my goodness. Every time. I have to go there? Oh boy. Why is it always there? It's so far. Am I going to make it? I didn't make a waypoint. Did I now? Gonna have to drive off road. Oh. 
Oh, I can't see anything. Uh, I'm in trouble, fam. No. I worked so hard for this. I mean, there's no way I can get there in time, right? It's so far. Why is it so far? Go, go, go. Oh, there's no way. That's a shame. Also, I thought there were stabilizers. Why did it cause so much instability? Also, I feel like my car definitely goes faster when the storm happens, which I think is kind of funny. We might be okay, actually. I guess just keep driving. The game's whole motto. Oh boy. Oh, is that the gateway? Yes, it is. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're Gucci. Oh, we're totally Gucci. Never mind. No, what? Why is my car like this? Go. Drive. Please. Oh, we're so back. Yeah, I guess the red area is where you die. Okay, you have more time than I thought. See ya. Nice. Woo. Hot damn. Spicy. Nice work out there. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Well, can't wait for that. All right. Well, that's a great point to stop. Like I said, we're going to do all the repairs and all the car stuff. Once we're if back. You're in a bind, pay a visit to the friendly dumpster out back. I always seem to find just what I need in there. But yeah. This game's really sweet. Uh good little hairy at the end there, but starting to get a feel for the loop, starting to get a little feel for navigating. It's good fun. Uh can't imagine what we're up against next, but I imagine it's only gonna get bigger, better, and weirder, which I'm kind of pumped for. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and or subscribe if that is the kind of thing you enjoy doing. But as always, most importantly, thanks for dropping by, stopping by the channel, and thanks for hanging out.